Okay, so Saturday night. Bye, Gary. Only just got back uh, a couple days ago from visiting the monasteries in Europe. Uh, was away for three weeks, a little over three weeks. I brought a young crooner Dumbo back. So I think we're both still rather discombobulated. So the uh, uh, yeah, eight hour time difference. So the body is telling me that it's middle of the night, or, oh, guess what is it, eight o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. Oh, I should be just waking up soon. <laughs> but, uh, yes, going and, uh, of course, visiting Ajahn Amaro, spending time with him, keeping that connection going. Also, uh, going and visiting Chithurst, where uh, Ajahn Hingsako is the abbot, another Rabbi Geary connection. See, I did his training here. There's uh, Anagarika, novice. Yes first five years, pretty much all here. So, also Ajahn Kachana is, is uh, helping out at Chithurst as well. So it's, uh, yeah, there's uh, connections with, with people. And uh, I went to the monastery in Portugal where Ajahn Vajiro uh, is the is the abbot there, and uh, I mean I've known him since he was a novice, and now he's over forty years as a monk. So, so yeah, there's some of these connections go back a long time, and it's nice to uh, um, have uh, connections with community. But it's also interesting to see the Say the different expression, uh, the different expressions of how um, people are living the uh, kind of monastic form. Um, I mean, it's on a certain level. It's okay. Theravada Buddhism, Thai Forest tradition, Ajahn Chah disciples. Um, but uh, um, you know, there's there's uh, uh, certain nuances that are are uh, are are a bit different, and, and it's nice to see how the how the teaching and the training um, expresses itself differently, but also expresses itself. Um, in in a similar way, or very, uh, you know, the the foundations of of the practice are are uh, are are so similar and and fundamental. Uh, because for you know, for ourselves, uh, what are those fundamentals of practice? What are the fundamentals of 
of train, how do we train ourselves? And, you know, I think back to Ajahn Chah and uh, how he um, trained his own uh, community. Um, and there was, um, of course, a lot of, of uh, emphasis on, on the basic simplicity. Um, and that, uh, I don't know how many times I heard the phrase as a young monk and as an ongoing training in, in Thailand at Jain Chah's monasteries. You know, so eat little, sleep little, practice a lot. I mean, it's, uh, those are the fundamentals. And it's, it's a, it's the, the, the basics of, of, um, of sense restraint uh, in order that one can have an alertness of mind uh, that's able to see, to see itself. Because um, fundamentally we, we, even though we live in these bodies, live in these minds, um, we're kind of strangers to them. Uh, don't really um, recognize very clearly um, how, um, what is it that is uh, the conditions that, that support our, um, our, our well-being and happiness and what is it that supports our um, kind of suffering and confusion. And and why do we why do we keep contributing to the the conditions that that uh, kind of tangle us up in in more more discontent more more confusion more suffering um, so that that uh, uh, that simplicity is 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 so important. Um, and of course, that's um, can be picked up as a theme, whether one is a monastic or a layperson. And that that fundamental simplicity, uh, a uh, a composing of the of the senses, so that one is. Um, re reflecting on 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 how, how it works because on a certain level, I mean, people can, and there's there's been plenty of people come to a and you know, you know, why do you make life so complicated? Why is why is this monastery so so complicated? Um, and or and any monastery really. Um, because there is a, uh, say, a tendency, one is there is a tendency to, to measure things through ideals. Um, I, I don't want to, uh, one, I don't want to suffer, I don't want to be agitated, uh, so therefore, I, you know, I don't want to have any impingement. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to be contacted by anything that's going to create uh, any kind of of either liking or disliking, wanting or not wanting. I, I don't want to have any of that contact uh, because I don't want to get. Be be stirred up, but the, you know the reality is we're born in these bodies and minds, and we experience the world around us, and we uh, there there are these 
senses of sight, uh, of, uh, sight, sound, smell, taste, touch, the thought, pro thought and feeling process itself of the mind, um, these function and whether we um, yeah, or in a monastery, not whether it's a, um, even if it's a quiet period in the monastery, we can go back to our, uh, our kutis in the forest and be by ourselves, but still carry the world with us. Um, our, our memories of, of past events, um, conversations, interactions, keep replaying those over and over again, or we can uh, worry about or project into the future, worrying about the future, projecting into the future, anticipation into the future, what's it going to be like? Even if it's not even a whole lot of um, say yes, a, a, a worry or fear, but still just just that, that kind of the mind wanting to have something to chew on. Um, so it's, it's, it's this, the practice is, is uh, really about the inner awareness, the quality of knowing that we have to foster and, uh, and, and, and letting, being willing to let go. Um, when I uh, first came into the hall for the uh, evening puja, I was feeling really dull and, and disoriented and and, uh, and just during the sitting just okay, uh, this is what it's like now knowing that and letting it go knowing that and letting it go and then there's an ease that comes into the mind as as a uh, uh, clarity settles um, and and that's just the function of awareness. It's not it's not me, uh, and it's it's just the the real the the fundamental nature of uh, of awareness of of being of returning to this quality of knowing, and it that's what gains momentum. Uh, in the mind. So it's learning how to trust that. And of course one has to put effort into it, and one has to, um, but the effort can't be kind of striving and forcing and pushing, uh, um, or trying to force the mind to be um, in some particular ideal state. Uh, it's just being willing to stay with the stay with the knowing, and and you you keep doing this, uh, and uh, you really learn how to to trust that. Uh, that's why you know, and that's 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 really a, a say a fundamental faith. And of course that's, uh, it's, it's uh, as we return to that over and over again, that is, is, is the, that is the application of wisdom. Um, in the, in the, the, <coughs> the, uh, teaching that the Buddha gives on on the five five spiritual powers, five spiritual faculties: sandha, virya, sati, samadhi, panya, faith, 
um, effort, energy, mindfulness, and um, concentration or settling of the mind, samadhi, and and wisdom. The you know I think one of the qualities that that tends to maybe mystify us or uh, uh, is is that quality of faith uh, and and uh, but it's it's the it, it is the first quality that the Buddha points to uh, in this cultivation of the faculties which are um, you know, lead to growth on the path. And it's not the the faith of belief or having a belief system or having it's 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 that, that sense of, of of trust in the trust in the path, trust in um trust in the Dhamma, trust in, in the nature of of awareness and, and the nature of the Dhamma. Um, so that there is that, yeah, that sense of uh, 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 it's not thought out or it's not um, it's not cons- conceptualizing it um, as a yeah, as a view, as a uh, as a ideal, uh, it's just a, a fundamental trust. So that the that's when the mind and the heart leans into into the dhamma. It leans toward the dhamma, and that that's where uh, you know. Of course, these faculties feed each other. They support each other. They um uh, kind of to encourage each other um, but I think that that uh, uh, recognition of of um, uh, being willing to explore uh, what does it mean to to say faith in Buddhism, uh, faith in the, in the, because in, usually when we say when the Buddha defines what what uh, say what sadha, what faith is, it's sort of faith basically just faith in 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 Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha, uh, and and it's much more uh, and the kind of faith that that. That that the uh, uh, that the Buddha is pointing to uh, again is it's not that doctrinal faith, but a faith in the fundamental quality that that that, that this dhamma, this teaching, is about the ending of suffering. Uh, and is about awakening, and and so that 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 trust or that there is a is a a, a, a possibility there and there is a there is a path there is a and there are those who have practiced this path of awakening, and there is the ability of the human heart to awaken. And to realize, to realize truth, and and that's uh, that's a ex- extremely uh, it's it's kind of a fundamental kind of non-verbal, um, but it conditions our willingness to to put forth effort our willingness to be mindful, to be present, to reestablish uh, awareness and attention, uh, to not get lost in our 
uh, proliferations and our worries and our fears and and, uh, uh, and you know, nursing our uh, irritations and our grudges um, and a, a willingness to uh, and trust that this this mind this heart um, when it settles and rests in awareness, that's where it is most complete or healthy or, or um, that's where its, it's, its true well-being is. Because uh, oftentimes when we think of samadhi, you know, we're thinking of some particular state. Um, you know, I've got to get my samadhi together. Uh, or I've got to put forth more effort so my, uh, my, I, get, I, I can get better samadhi. Uh, which is, you know, fair enough. Um, definitely, you know, on the scale of things in the world, that's a, uh, it's certainly a good thing to do. But um, as long as we're coming from that, perspective, there's always a sense of self, a sense of me, and a sense of lack uh, that it's coming from, or a sense of, in the sense that we, we feel we have to achieve and be something. Um, and, and that's not very peaceful, actually. Uh, is to, but to, to, to really recognize that the that 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 when the mind is willing to immerse itself in awareness or immerse itself with knowing and drop everything else the mind settles it it's and as I said when uh, Ajahn Sumedho once asked uh, Ajahn Chah what samadhi um, was. What is, uh, and Ajahn Chah sort of say, uh, to much to uh, Ajahn Sumedho's surprise, um, and samadhi is a holiday for the heart. And the, uh, which isn't how we feel because it, you know if, uh, when we feel we have to achieve, attain, uh, f- make the mind peaceful, uh, it's not much of a holiday. Uh, it's it's uh, it's a real burden. Uh, so that that to uh, recognize that it's just the the that willingness to. You know, to rest in the resting in the knowing, resting in aware the fundamental awareness itself, and letting everything else drop away. And of course, that's where where wisdom or discernment uh, manifests itself. Is in clarity, and just seeing things clearly, seeing things in their true nature. Yatha Bhutanyana Dasanam, knowledge and vision of the way things truly are. So it's not some kind of intellectual feat, but it's just seeing things clearly. This is skillful, this is unskillful. This is, is 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 fundamentally wholesome. This is unwholesome. Uh, this is peaceful. This is sublime. And these are being able to see that clearly. Oh, this is when the Buddha says, "This is peaceful. This is sublime." 
the stilling of all formations. It's that letting things go to stillness without uh, going in and stirring things up all the time or, or uh, messing with the uh, w w with truth. Uh, so a willingness to see it clearly. So they're, they're uh, uh, you know, it's how we hold the practice that's, that is, is uh, uh, more what, what conditions how we, what we, ex what we experience or what the fruits, fruits of the practice, um, as opposed to, say, how much, how much time, how much, um, say even how much effort we put in, because uh, sometimes we can, we can be incredibly diligent, but just stir ourselves up all the time. Or I can, I remember early days of being a, being a monk and meeting somebody who'd been practicing for quite a few years, um, and and they kept a. It kept a record, you know, a detailed record of how many, how many hours, how many minutes of each day uh, they they pray. And there was they were always forced themselves to practice more, practice more, practice more. Um, but they weren't pe peaceful. Yeah, it was, it was ended up just roping and leaving, because um, it's it, yeah, it isn't the. Uh, uh, it isn't the quantity that, of practice that's important, it's the quality. And so that paying attention to how we're holding the practice, how we're holding the Dhamma, how we're holding this perception of self, uh, uh, it always has to be held with a, a sense of, of, of not, you know, just not, not grasping, not clinging, being willing to know something clearly and then to let it go. And of course, that's what Ajahn Chah was in, was just laughing and, and at, at, uh, at us who were complicating ourselves so much, complicating practice so much. And I said, I said, I don't know why you make it so complicated. It's, it's only two things you need to do. Know and let go. And, and of course, it's not, that, that's not easy to do. Because um, it, it, it really does take um, this balance of, of yeah, fundamental trust a sense of balanced energy, a, a, a clarity of how one applies awareness and attention, a, a, an actual interest and willingness to settle, to immerse the heart in, in being still and being peaceful and, and seeing the and that, that appreciating clarity, because they, they, they uh, and it's not that we're we don't have wisdom or discernment. It's not. It's not that we we don't have clarity. It's just we keep covering it over. We keep keep missing. Missing the point, and so this is the practice is is returning to the fundamentals and learning how to yeah learning how to trust it. So I'll offer that for reflection this evening.